Good Monday morning, South Florida. I'm CBS4 meteorologist Asa Gonzalez, and everyone trying to get back to normal after Irma, back to work, back to school today for most of the area. And we are seeing a sunny view from our Fort Lauderdale camera. At least the radar is quiet and dry, as I'm sure it's going to be much busier on the roads and the highways due to some more traffic and the breeze right now out of the north northwest, 6 to 10 miles per hour temperatures. Creeping up, upper 70s in Fort Lauderdale, 82 in Miami, 81 in Kendall, 85 in Marathon. Earlier, we actually had a few inland areas dip down to the low 70s with less humidity. At least it was a bit more comfortable in the morning, but temperatures will be soaring to the low 90s this afternoon, and we'll see the potential for some spotty storms. Small craft caution is in place for boaters as we do have Hurricane Jose up near the uh, Carolina coast to the east of the Carolinas. It is leading to some rough surf and also dangerous rip currents up and down the Atlantic seaboard, including here on our beaches. So keep that in mind. And as we look ahead, the rest of the week, we'll see those highs climbing to the 90s and a better chance of storms starting Wednesday. Thursday, Friday is the first day of fall, but of course, it will not be feeling like fall around here for some time. We'll have to be patient with that. And as we have to be patient with many power outages still impacting so many, in the meantime, remember, stay hydrated, try to stay in the shade during the hottest part of the day. And uh, if you are going to be doing anything outside, take frequent breaks because although highs will be in the 90s, it'll feel like the 100s. Stay safe out there.